The finale of Attack on Titan has sparked heated debates among anime fans, with many considering it as one of the worst endings ever. The demise of protagonist Eren Yeager at the hands of his beloved Mikasa left many fans unhappy. But what if Eren had survived? In a reality where Eren lives, the world would be drenched in blood. Would the Eldians accept Eren after such a devilish massacre? Might he have married Mikasa and found happiness? Let's take a look at different alternate timelines where he did not die and the repercussions. Internal Conflicts on Paradis Declaring Eren a hero on Paradis Island would be no easy feat after trampling 80% of humanity. Strong and divided opinions on his fate would arise amongst the people. While Mikasa and Armin would stand steadfastly by Eren's side, others like Jean and Levi who lost loved ones would refuse to let the culprit survive. Fear of Titans would continue plaguing the public psyche, brewing tremendous tension and conflict. Anti-Eren alliances would form, challenging his supporters and fracturing friendships. Power struggles and violent clashes would persist on Paradis as factions wrestle for control in the aftermath. With Eren's presence hindering social progress, the island would remain stunted, unable to build a united and thriving society. Furthermore, no foreign country would entertain diplomacy with an Eldia still under Eren's influence. Some may even wage war with the sole intent being to eliminate Jaeger. In many ways, Eren succeeding as a savior would ironically burden Paradis with heavy unrest. His radical actions would leave people splintered, paranoid, and hostile towards one another. The island's best hope for true peace and prosperity would lie not within their proclaimed hero, but beyond him. Wiping out memories Having killed millions for his vision of freedom, Eren Yeager's survival could only be possible through one chilling act, erasing the memory of his crimes from the world's mind. With the founding titan's powers, wiping clean the slate of transgressions might seem a tidy solution. Without memory of the rumbling's atrocities, people could begin rebuilding and Eren could live guilt-free. But convenient amnesia is a fragile remedy for sins committed. Though vanished from mind, the scars left by Eren's actions would remain carved into the fabric of people's lives. Forgotten does not equate forgiven. And what if the millions whose lives were cut short? Would erasing memories be fair to them and the injustice done? When the fate of the world gets decided by those in power, notions of fairness wither away. War with other countries With technology and weapons exceeding Paradis, the outside world would be unlikely to forgive and forget Eren's global genocide. Any hopes for positive foreign relations would be shattered, leaving a hostile chasm between Paradis and other nations. Eren's continued existence would be considered as an intolerable threat by world powers who suffered immense losses from the rumbling. They would pressure Paradis to surrender Jaeger or kill him through force refusing to allow the architect of mass murder to go unpunished. If Paradis tried shielding Eren, it could rapidly ignite a catastrophic war against international alliances. Though outmatched militarily, Paradis would feel compelled to protect their savior regardless of consequences. To the outside world, Eren remaining alive would be an unacceptable risk justifying drastic action. But for Paradis, losing Eren could also mean losing the tenuous future he secured for them. This precarious dilemma would leave both sides primed for violent confrontation. With Eren persevering post-rumbling, simmering tensions would inevitably escalate to war, destroying any hopes of peace. His polarized legacy would force Paradis into a suicidal battle, sacrificing their future to preserve the flawed hero of their past. Rebuilding the World at first glance, Eren's survival could allow him to spearhead rebuilding the post-rumbling world, with Paradis benefiting from his notoriety. Their island would gain global influence, leveraging Eren's power during negotiations and trade deals to rapidly develop. With the threat of the founding titan looming, other nations may acquiesce to Paradis' demands, leading to economic and technological growth. Visitors would flock there, curious about the island's history. And Eren could use his stature to push for worldwide cooperation and peace between nations, realizing his vision of a unified world order free from conflict. However, this peace would remain fragile, predicated on fear rather than forgiveness. Resentment would simmer beneath the surface, with many foreign powers quietly waiting for the day Paradis loses his titan weapon. Rather than true acceptance, Paradis would face guarded tolerance and false smiles hiding clenched fists. People would cooperate not out of goodwill, but apprehension. Just one misstep could unravel progress and ignite violence. While Eren's presence could temporarily advance Paradis, it would come at the cost of genuine reconciliation. Only through earnest understanding and justice, not intimidation, could a darkened world be slowly brightened once more. Titan Threat Remains 
With Aaron still breathing, the threat of Titans would persist, prolonging the cycle of fear and oppression. As long as the founding Titan remained alive in Aaron, the world would continue viewing Paradis as an existential menace. Foreign nations would be unable to forget or forgive as long as Aaron possessed the power to unleash global ruin once more. Deep scars from the rumbling would prevent stable relations, with other countries always bracing for another attack. While Aaron only has a handful of years left before succumbing to the curse of Amir, those years would be marked by distrust and hostility from beyond Paradis's shores. The island would remain isolated and perceived as dangerous by the wider world. Only after Aaron's eventual natural death could Eldians begin mitigating Titan fears by ensuring his powers perish completely. With concerted effort, they could convince outsiders the era of Titans ended with Aaron's passing. But until then, Aaron's heartbeat would signal the continued heartbeat of Titan domination, stopping Paradis from moving towards acceptance. Only after permanently severing this living link could the difficult road to reconciliation even begin. Aaron and Mikasa Escape The undeniable connection between Aaron and Mikasa simmered subtly until tragedy struck. But if he survived, perhaps a quiet life together could bloom, however briefly. As the only one capable of truly understanding him, Mikasa was the sole person Aaron could envision escaping with. Away from the chaos they know, a rustic haven could be built by hand and home forged. There, the notorious Ackerman and the suicidal blockhead could embrace simple moments they were denied. A glimpse of the romantic bliss Aaron once showed Mikasa in visions of a path not taken. But with the curse of Amir looming, this idyllic escape could only ever be fleeting. At most, a few precious years of shelter from the storm surrounding them, the calm at the eye of a hurricane. Soon enough, eternity would separate them as it does all. Their time would be tragically short, but lived wholly together, unburdened at last. A cottage for two, isolated yet complete. This ending would be bittersweet, yet beautiful in its own star-crossed way. A destined pair granted a taste of the lives they dreamed before fate intervened once more. For Aaron and Mikasa, it may be the happiest finale they could hope for. Aaron's Redemption Journey While desiring to protect his people, Aaron's actions remain morally reprehensible, with the blood of millions staining his hands. If he survived, a lifelong journey of redemption would await this tragic figure. No amount of reflection could ever fully absolve his conscience. The sheer magnitude of lives lost due to his choices is an eternal burden to bear. Seeking penance, Aaron would willingly go into exile. His remaining years would pass alone, removed from society, contending with profound guilt and sorrow. In isolation, Aaron would recognize the horrors his power unleashed when governed by limited understanding. With hindsight, alternatives beyond Omnicide could have been found, but the gravity of this realization emerges far too late. Nonetheless, his life after the rumbling would be one of sincere atonement through solitude and interchange. Seeking neither forgiveness nor pity, only a chance to redeem his soul through remorse and renewed perspective. Aaron embarked upon his devastating path out of a desire to protect his people. Perhaps in the aftermath, by walking an agonizing road of conscience and remorse, he could begin protecting the essence of his own humanity once more. Earlier sacrifices would have been in vain. If Aaron persevered after the rumbling, the many sacrifices pivotal characters made along the way would ring hollow. Their heavy losses enabled his survival and success, yet failed to steer him towards less productive paths. Fan favorites like Erwin, Sasha, and Hanji gave their lives fighting for a better future, only for Eren to trample over ideals they died for. To see him outlive them all dishonors their legacies. Their deaths motivated and shaped those left behind, driving them towards defeating Eren against all odds. For him to remain afterward makes the Fallen seem more like hapless enablers than tragic heroes. Seeing Eren thrive in a world cleansed through their sacrifices, it would appear they died in vain chasing hollow hopes, that their stalwart souls passed fighting for naught. In order for the deaths to carry meaningful weight, Eren extinguishing millions of lives he aimed to save must also come at the cost of his own. Otherwise, he disgraces those no longer alive to stop him and diminishes their sacrifice.